Hey guys, and this is episode six of Shakespeare with Kids. And today we're going to be doing To Be or Not to Be. And that almost poem is spoken by Hamlet. I'm joined by. Hello, it's Abit's mum. And. Hi, I'm Lona. My cousin. And so this is Act 3, Scene 1. Three, one. Page 578 in the book Page we're using. Does not matter. But yeah. it's going to be a different book probably yeah. for you. Okay. So, might as well get stuck. Enter Hamlet. Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and, and the thousand natural shocks, the flesh in air too. Tis a consum- consummation, consummation? Con- cons- consummation, devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, I... There's the rub. For in the sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that make, that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin, who would fard- fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make coward of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pitch and moment with disregards their currents turn awry. And lose the name of action. Soft you now. The fair Ophelia nymph in thy orisons be all my sins remembered. Thank you, Adit. That was good. Lona, do you want to say what your first thoughts are? Mm, I think I understand what the passage is about. Okay. When um, Hamlet, I'm guessing, says to be or not to be, he's talking about his existence, isn't he? Or yeah yeah okay yeah and yeah go on no no I just wanted to say that it's 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 an interesting passage and one I think one line that stuck out the most to me Mm. would be when he says like it was a few lines um for who could bear the whips and scorns of time Mm. the presser is wrong the proud man's contumely the pangs of despised love the laws delay. Um, and then so on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's it's beautiful, isn't it? I was just mm. listening to it. It was so profound. It's mm. he's talking about pain and life and death, and what is more meaningful than that? Yeah, there's yeah. a few words that I didn't get though. One of them okay. was quietus. Yeah, so quietus means death. So I mean, it kind of what it sounds like, so let, isn't it? Where's the context? Um, what to say quiet quietus yeah when he Qu- himself might as quietus make yeah 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 so what would that mean so read that line again please Abed. when he when he himself might as quietus make with the bare bodkin so bodkin is like a uh, like an instrument of some sort um in a um so yeah i think that's interesting so he's talking about 
the slings and arrows of life of living so the pain that living can cause you know but he's also contrasting contrasting that with the fact that when we die we don't know what happens to us so are we, so it's like the pig sleep so yeah he's thinking like uh, do I want to get to, uh, wherever we will go? Yeah. So he's saying, what is that? So the bravest among us are sort of scared off of this journey and live in this earth in pain, in misery, in unhappiness, because we don't know what comes next. Yeah. Mm. Isn't it? So uh, the the last line, so he says, a fair Ophelia. Can you, can you read the last line for me? The last line? Yeah. The fair Ophelia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fair Ophelia, nymph in thy horizons, be all my sins remembered. So he's saying that, ask, so orisons means prayer. So he's saying that when you pray tonight, ask for forgiveness for my sins also. Yeah. Is what he's saying to Ophelia. So I think he's, you know, he's a uh, um, a warrior, isn't he? So warriors have many sins. That's the entire point. So I think he's in pain and he's trying to say, should I live or die? I don't know. Help me, you know. He's, He's expressing his inner turmoil. Yeah. You never gave your thoughts, Adet. What did you think? What jumped out at you? I, I think it was actually a, re- a really nice, um, almost poem, you could say. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Shakespeare, as I've said before, kind of inserts poems into he does, his work. He does. Yeah. Very yeah, effectively, he did, yeah. actually. Definitely. And he's just, you know, comparing to die to sleep. Is there a difference? Uh, so if I do die, yeah. is it just the same as sleeping? How will it work? No more. And by a sleep to say we end. Yeah. So uh, kind of saying, he's slightly fearing, when will, uh, will I die in my sleep? So uh, he'll slightly feel almost conscious, subconscious, um have a subconscious feeling uh, when he sleeps. He's like, will I die in my sleep? Maybe. I think, I think he's saying, yeah, I think, what do you think? I was thinking that he means that death is like sleep because you're unaware yeah. of what happens. Yeah. Do you think so? I think, yeah. I'm trying to look for that line at the moment. Where does, yeah. Um, I think it, it's the same because... It's like when you're sleeping, mm-hmm. it's kind of like an end, isn't it? Like a, it's a, You always see it as like the end of something, probably the end of a day. Yeah. And then more like death is like the end of a life. Yes, you know? exactly. Right. It could be something like that, perhaps. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But, that mm. sounds right to me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's like such a solemn passage, isn't it? There is nothing... Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's I think at, at, like he's also thinking about whether existing is worth the pain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It can be. I guess this can be seen from many different points of views because it, it's not really like a one meaning kind of thing. No, is it? no absolutely yeah. not. You are right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like how do you see it and how does so the, a different reader see it? Mm. Because, uh, you know, the way it's been expressed, I think it's just... Um, you can put your own spin on it, but regardless, it is a beautiful passage that yeah. talks about oh, shuffling off the mortal coil. Yeah, so, what does mortal coil mean? Uh, so, mortal coil, it's a poetic term meaning sort of the pain of existence. So, the everyday, oh. it's beautiful, isn't it? It's just, yeah, yeah so mortal coil means like. The pain of being, the pain of existing yeah. type of thing. Of yeah. being alive. Of being alive, exactly. He's thinking maybe I should just end the pain. 
Yeah, that is what he is saying. saying. What would be on the other side? Will it be better than the pain? That's exactly yeah, what he is yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but he has to be in that desperate state of mind to have. Like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's so lovely. I don't know what else. Lona, did you want to add something else to this? Um, I guess the the line where he's saying, what was he saying again? I'm gonna find it really quickly. There's a line where he's talking about what men. Where is it again? Um, he line. says, it's "Yeah, no." So he says, "Yeah, for who bear?" Yeah, he says, "For who bears the whips and scorns of time?" I already mentioned that line. Yeah. But I guess he's thinking about how. He, people just typically, you know, have hard lives, and yeah. it's just you know, perhaps. Isn't it like I remember reading this before, and I think Hamlet's father passes away or killed. I cannot remember. Yeah, but I think because that's another thing that makes him think of this, and I guess after such a like a hard, uh, I guess after a loss like that. Yeah. You can't help but think. Yeah. What is it like? Maybe. What is it, what is the point? Yeah. Like, and he might yeah. want to like, join his father. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. There's a ghost that mm. comes. Remember, there's yeah. a ghost comes to mm. to tell Hamlet what he needs to do, how he died, and so on and so forth. I, yeah. I mean, not in so many words. You know, it's Shakespeare, mm. but yeah. Okay. Anything else, Dad? I am good. Did you oh, have yeah, some? Me too. Me too. Okay. I guess that's the end then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, the, we really enjoyed the passage, didn't we, kids? Yeah. Yes. This yes. is one of the best ones. Yes. Okay. Yes. See ya. Bye. Oh, let her finish. Sorry, Lona. You were saying. <laughs> that's fine. No, I was just saying that's probably the reason why it's one of the most famous passages. Yes. Yeah. It's profound. It's really. Mm. It made so much sense. Yeah. Okay. For the second time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.